If you will use Google Analytics for the first time after July 2023, then this video is for you. I'll show you how to connect your website to Google Analytics and then set up the new GA4 dashboard. Now, Google Analytics is a tool to help you understand how visitors interact with your website. And Universal Analytics or UA is the current version of this tool, while Google Analytics 4 or GA4 is the new version. Why do we need this new version? The base structure of UA was built years ago. And since then, people have started using new devices and the user behavior has been changing. Google created GA4 to keep up with these changes and provide more accurate and useful data to website owners. So what's changed? There's four main things which I've summarized here, but if you want to understand it better, I've made a short video explaining GA4 that I'll link above and below. If you've been using Google Analytics from before and you want to migrate from the old dashboard to the new GA4 one, then I'll link that video above and below for you. The first step is to create a Google Analytics account. So let's go here, then type Google Analytics. Now click the first link and it will take you to this page. To create an account, go to Admin in Google Analytics. This admin section is where you can manage all your settings. In the account column, click create account. Here you'll need to provide an account name. This can be anything you like, but choose a name that represents your business or the website that you're tracking. Next, you'll need to configure your data sharing settings. This controls which data you share with Google. Click next to add the first property to the account. Here you'll need to enter a name for the property. You'll also need to select the reporting time zone and currency. These settings will affect how your data is reported. Click next, select your industry category and business size. These settings help Google Analytics provide you with relevant benchmarking data later on. Click next again and select how you intend to use Google Analytics. Click create and if you're setting up a new account, accept the analytics terms of service. Now we need to add a data stream to start collecting data. Here you can choose between an iOS app, Android app or web. And we'll choose web because we're connecting it to our website. Our second step is to connect our website to this Google Analytics account. So just go to the WordPress dashboard, then go to the plugin library to find a free plugin called SiteKit by Google. Let's install and activate this. Then click start setup, which will take you to this page. Now click sign in, then sign into your Google account like this. Then click allow. Now click on go to my dashboard. Click on connect service and you'll set up your account information here like this. Click configure and that's it. Our Google Analytics is now connected to our website, which means it will start tracking our website data. Google can take some time to start capturing data. So after a couple of days, this area will get filled. For example, look at our website's data here. You can see the number of users who have visited your site and more data like this. The third step is to do SEO on your site so you can show up on Google like this. This is a big topic and there's a lot of misinformation online because everyone wants to sell their own courses. I have nothing to sell and this is a screenshot of my own website's performance. So you can trust my advice when I tell you that these are the most simple and effective things to get you started in a good way. Comment below if you want a detailed video about these steps.